Why do bees die in the winter? Hello, I'm Griffith, so I'm going to go in and Griffith. Here we talk everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, I've just been checking some bees this week, and I have lost two nukes. And it's brought me to do this video of why do bees die in the winter? What causes it? What should we look out for? And can we reduce the risk of bees dying in the winter? All these are very good questions, and I'm going to answer them in this video. So the first thing that bees die of in the winter is starvation. If the bees go in the winter and they haven't got enough feed to sustain the winter, then they just starve and they die. Now, they can starve even if there's food within the hive, and that's called isolation starvation. And that can happen when the weather's really, really, co really, really cold. The bees are clustering tight, and then they consume the food, the honey, where they are, but it's too cold for them to move on into the rest of the hive, and then they die of starvation, isolation, that's what we call it. So, very important to know what that looks like. You may think if your bees have died, they're dead there in one cluster, there's plenty of stores in there, and you think something sinister is going wrong there, it may be uh, isolation starvation, but no doubt, Starvation kills a huge amount of bees every year. Beekeepers not feeding their bees enough, thinking they've got enough stores, or they don't heft their hives month by month within the winter. Say you've got some buckfast bees, it's, the weather's very mild, they're consuming huge amounts of stores in the winter. The beekeeper doesn't notice that. Come springtime, they can starve and they'll die. Another big problem with bees and the winter is excess moisture. Now the hive could be very, very damp or it could be uh, condensation, uh, poor roof, no insulation within the roof or not enough airflow and you get condensation. Now the bees can cope pretty well with the cold. Uh, cold can kill them but more often than not bees can maintain hive temperature in the winter, no problem. But if that hive is damp wet, chances are that's going to kill some bees. Another big problem uh, we see and we hear of is bees dying in the winter and people make nukes too late or they make nukes too small thinking they're going to be able to go through the winter that small. But you know, when, when the nuke is very small, it can't maintain a uh, hive temperature when the weather was really cold or there just isn't enough bees there to maintain that hive or to maintain the, the structure of that hive. And then unfortunately, that nuke is destined to die out. So tip there, a bit too late if you're watching this video now, but don't make your winter nukes too small. Another factor is disease. Now, if something goes into the winter and it's either got AFB, foul brood, really bad case of chalk or sack brood, something along down those lines. Uh, it's very, very doubtful those bees are going to survive the winter if there's a, a, a very bad infestation. Now, I put Varora in with disease. Varora brings disease as well. Varora can actually kill bees as well. So if your bees haven't been treated for Varora, then I'd say the likelihood of them dying over the winter is greatly increased compared to bees that have been treated. Because let's have a look at the life cycle of Varora. The Varora latches onto the bee. While the Varora then is on the bee, the bee's immune system drops, opens the bee up to secondary disease. Now with the winter bees, the bees need to live for the entire length of winter. It's not like in the summer when these bees die in four weeks time and you've got constant fresh batches of bees coming through. This is not the case in the winter. If these bees have got Varora on their backs, say in September, then I very much doubt it that they're going to be in a healthy state come March. And no doubt Varora is a big killer of bees in the winter. 
The next one is not disease uh, orientated or uh, any fault to the bees, but it's due to other animals killing your bees. Now, if you think the simple field mouse is an innocent animal, they can kill your hive. And I'll tell you how they do it. The little mouse sneaks in when the bee is in the cluster. If the bee is on this side of the box, the mouse consumes all the feed on the far side of the hive. Throughout the winter, the bees are going to be moving frame to frame. Before they know it, half the feed is gone in the hive and they will die of starvation due to the mouse. Now, of course, we can put mouse guards on you. If you watch my tell, uh, 10 beekeeping jobs for the month video, you would have seen we've put on mouse guards by now. So we've reduced this risk. But it's not just mice. Woodpeckers can do the same kind of damage if you get serious uh, damage from woodpeckers they can smash a big hole in the side of the hive consume uh, lots of larvae and just uh, expose the hive to the elements that can kill the bees and things like badgers can demolish a hive just to get at that honey and the grubs and the pollen within so other animals can kill your bees as well but uh, very very doubt doubt it that uh, that's going to happen to you especially if you live in the UK now, if you live in some parts of the world, you may have bears. Now, that is a big problem, and I'm glad we haven't got bears in Wales. The next point on my list is the beekeeper. Now, the beekeeper can kill the bees. Now, if you're a beekeeper and you're a little bit too keen and you want to constantly start keep having a look or doing inspections on your bees in the winter, stop now. Don't inspect your bees in the winter. You're exposing them to the elements. You're breaking the heat cycle in there. So every time you crack that clown board off, all the heat from the hive is disappearing. You imagine, you know, when you're in the house, the fire's on, someone opens the door, big draft comes in, cools the room down drastically. Now, this is the same within the hive. You don't want to do that. Visit your bees at the least amount as possible. You've got no benefit, nothing to achieve by actually going into the hive at this time of year. Just leave your bees be. By you fiddling around with them, you're just increasing the risk of anything going wrong. Now, one of the big things that kills bees in the winter, and we especially see this in Wales from the amount of rain we get, and this poorly mated queens. Now, if the queen doesn't get mated properly, queen's got a sperm bag on her. That sperm bag needs to be full so the queen can live for several years and that sperm will be with her till the day she dies. Now, if she hasn't been mated properly and she runs out of semen in the winter, she's going to stop laying eggs, new bees are not going to be coming through uh, the winter and these bees will die. Now, you'll probably see these bees die in the spring. The queen will want to start laying, there'll be no semen there, she'll start laying drones, the hive will turn into a drone layer and they'll die out. I class this as a winter loss. Now the weather can kill your bees. Several factors, your extreme cold can do it. Very, very doubtful that we're gonna get extreme cold in the UK. I've never really seen strong colonies of bees die in Wales due to the cold. And I've got hives on open mesh floor, uh, timber boxes, poly boxes, pretty much any kind of combination you've got, I've got it. And I've not seen bees die of cold in Wales yet. I've seen small nukes die of cold, you know, uh, ones that are just too small during the winter. But I've never seen strong ones die. But extreme cold can bring snow. And I bet you if we get prolonged snow for several weeks and that blocks the hive up so it can't breathe, pretty sure that's going to kill your bees again. Very, very doubtful that's going to happen in the UK. But some parts of the world, I guarantee you, one of their jobs is keeping the snow, keeping the snow from the entrances so the bees can still breathe. Wind can kill your hives. Now, not by direct penetration, unless your hive's in really poor quality and the wind is just hitting the cluster. That will definitely kill them. But I'm talking about here is wind toppling your hives over or blowing the roof off and then cold water seeping into the hive now if you again i talk about this on my 10 beekeeping jobs for the month strap your hives out in the winter put bricks on them make sure the wind doesn't topple the hives that does kill uh, bees every year 
hives being tipped over and then just being exposed to the elements. And again, with the weather, we get lots of rain in the winter. If your bees are in a floodplain or they're in an area which could potentially flood, then if your hive gets submerged in water in the winter, it's not looking good for them. And finally, natural causes will kill bees. It's not your fault. Everything that lives will eventually die, and it is exactly the same with bees. Now, your bees can go into winter fully fed, looking fit and healthy, no problems that you can see, and they will still die. Unfortunately, such is life, this will happen to you. Don't feel bad about it. This is the natural life cycle. Bees do die in the winter. Now, we've talked about some points here which can affect why they die. Some points we just can't uh, put our finger on it or explain why. It's just, it's meant to be. I see this in farming all the time, especially with lambs. Fit, strong, healthy lambs. You look at them in the evening, they're fine. But in the morning, they're barely up and you've just got no reason or possible explanation to why that is now dead. Same thing with bees. And if you look, if we look, dive deep into the ecosystem here of just bees in general, bees die in the winter, wax moth goes into the hive, it consumes the wax, finishes the hive off completely, Come spring, you've got an empty box or an empty calf between a tree. Swarm goes in and then a li that life cycle restarts again. So don't feel bad if your bees die in the winter. It does happen. Now we've talked about several things that you can do in this video to stop your bees from dying. Check your feeds. Make sure your hives are uh, so uh, in sound condition. Water can't go into it. They're not soaking wet. They're strapped down or weighted down so wind can't topple them. Some useful tips there to hopefully increase your bees' chances of surviving this winter. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, a bit of a dark one, but a very important subject that we, we need to cover on the channel and you need to be aware of these points. Well, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.